Um, we actually do a lot of ground to standing transitions like the Turkish get up. We do rollover get up and goes and our sprint starts, things along those lines because I think it gets guys out of their comfort zone and um, you know really forces them to, to kind of get back to their, their roots so to speak in terms of development. So the guy like Steve, um, you know, holding the kettlebell overhead, he's got to you know, learn how to pack his shoulder in the right place. He's got you know, just like reflexive firing of his rotator cuff to, to hold that um, ball right in the socket. Um, you know, he's, it's a great course stability challenge anytime you hold a weight overhead. So, um, you know, that's, as you can see, it's, it's pretty active mobility. He goes through a pretty extensive range of motion to do it. And um, it's also a good chance for you to kind of see where his asymmetries where, you know, be and you know, give him a chance to kind of work through them. Uh, you want to keep the, the the reps down, you know, nothing over you know three per side is a general rule of thumb, um, and, and we'll do higher reps on some progressions if we do like a half get up or something like that.